In this case, you'll notice you have two projects. You have the guided project and you have the independent project. Generally, when I show you a video, it'll be on the independent project. Because this is the first one of the guided pro projects, I'm going to show you the basic to get started, and then you can go ahead and, and uh, um, do the remainder. But what you're going to do is you're going to click on the project, and when you get here, this is where you need to choose your different um, operating system. And uh, of course, it has different, different uh, uh, downloads to tell you how to, how to use the project and how and gives you a full set of instructions so these are nice um, and you can use those um, whenever you need them okay let's go back and i'm going to just download the windows because i'm using a windows file and so this gives me my windows my my um, instructions for this particular assignment and this is a guided project guided projects generally what they do is they tell you where to go on each one. Click cell, click freeze panes, all of these types of things. And that's the reason why I'm not going to show you the guided projects unless you, you know, if I, unless I get a lot of comments saying, I had so much trouble with that. So go ahead and, and, and work your way through the guided project. But what you're going to be doing um, when you're in SimNet is you're going to be coming here first, uploading, oh, oh I'm sorry, you need to go to, um, your start get your start pick up your start file and this is what's important is that you've picked up that start file right here only because um, this program sometimes the initial files for the chapters are different on simnet than they are on the through the textbook uh, references so you want to open this and then what i would say you always have to enable the editing and then turn around and do a file save as and save it to a folder on your drive and what I always suggest is that you follow the naming conventions that I've used for the assignments you don't have to have the whole name all the way out there but this is uh, unit 2 I believe so in this case what we would be doing is coming in and um, uh, put in uh, your your uh, class reference and then um, uh, maybe uh, assignments and um, let's go here and open it oh open this folder and this is unit two and let's look at which one this one is um, this was uh, unit 02A2. So I'm going to change this folder name to U02A2 and save my file in there. And don't change the file name because it brings in the file, your name in the file. So that's what you want to use. And as you're working with the instructions that were given to you in the uh, um, download, um, then you're going to, let's see if I've, I've got them here. <clears throat> Uh, in the guided project download, as you work through these instructions, you'll be altering this file. You save the file, and then when you're complete, you will upload it to SimNet. So I'm going to um, give you a full description on the next one, but this is just to show you how to work with the guided projects. So you want to make sure that you have saved the file and that you save it to your computer, work with it, then upload it. You may note one other thing. When you're in SimNet, you can upload your file but not grade it as well. So like I could I could do this. I could go upload my file and go into my um, CIS 216 folder for this class and my assignments and then just upload my file. That just means that I'm ready to work on it. Uh, no, I'm not ready. I don't want to submit it. No, I'm not ready. So I'm just, I've just got it there. I want to work on it later. Now, the nice part about this is you can go, you can bring your file in, get it ready, and then go work off campus if you want or in another location. Um, so it, it, it just helps um, if you have it stored in this location. You only, once you've uploaded it, you, when you go to grade my file, it will give you the grade on the file. 
So I'm going to stop this video and go on to the next one where I'll give you some more detail.